So in this session of the course, we are going to be setting up our development environment for our Python development. So first of all, we are going to be downloading Python and some other piece of software that will be useful for us during our Python learning and uh, it will help us to develop Python projects uh, very easily as well as learning Python. So first of all, we will go to this website called python.org and we are going to be downloading the Python uh, onto our system. So if you are on uh, other system like uh, Ubuntu or Mac OS, so you can uh, download the Python for your version, like your operating system. So I'm using Windows system, so I will uh, just download this Python 3.8.3 and it will start downloading for me and it will be an exe file and we are going to be installing it on our system as well as uh, we are going to be needing some other piece of software as well that will be uh, visual studio code so this is the best id that you can uh, get right now and uh, i think so i think this one is best for developers who work on different programming languages and uh, they want to switch between uh, programming languages so you can download it from here and it is totally free as well as it comes from microsoft so it is quite and in my all projects i use this vs code id for my project development and as well as other programming like flask and django as well so it has a lot of extension that you can install onto it and you can uh, work with different programming languages at the same time so we are using a vs code id because uh, pycham is a quite heavy program and it uh, usually hangs your system as well as it slow down the speed of your development but uh, this is not the case with VS Code ID. Uh, it is a quite stable program and it uh, doesn't get hanged and slow down during the development. So let these things get downloaded. So we also need to install this piece of software named Kite uh, onto our system that will automatically suggest us uh, the upcoming words or what you can say is uh, it can suggest the words which we use frequently in our programming and it will like uh, help us to like overcome that we don't need to write everything again and again so it will automatically suggest us um, the upcoming words or upcoming um, variables which we are going to be using as well as functions so for that uh, we also need to download it onto our system so i will just click on download and it will also start downloading onto my system so as you can see it is a quite a uh, big program which is around 300 mb and uh, other two are like uh, the python version is 25 mb and vs code is around 50 mb so we need this uh, three piece of software and after that we can start working over our projects so these are uh, really helpful programs that we uh, can use like the vs code id as well as the kite engine so it will help us to like uh, boost up our development speed so i will get back once uh, these software are downloaded so guys finally i have downloaded all the uh, three softwares onto my system and it took me around five minutes to download these three pieces of software and it will depend on your internet speed that how much time it takes to download this software and if your system is low spec so i will suggest you to skip the kite setup because it uh, takes a lot of cpu usage as well as memory so if you have a low spec system so you can uh, use uh, these uh, two piece of software which is python and the vs code id and you can skip the kite setup for now and uh, first of all uh, we will install python onto our system and we will uh, install one by one so we will go with python first So as you guys can see here is a installation uh, setup for python so first of all we will select this uh, add to path add python 3.8 to path so it will add it into our path and uh, we will do a customized installation and as you can see all the things here are selected and we will leave it as it is and if you are if your version doesn't have anything selected so you need to select all these things and we'll click on next and we'll select uh, some things here so we will select uh, install for all users and we'll click on install so as you can see uh, it is asking me for permission and if i give it the permission so it will start installing it onto my system so let it get installed and after that we are going to be installing the vs code id onto our system 
So guys, finally, uh, we have installed uh, Python successfully onto our system. So we will just click on close. And if we go to CMD, so I will just type here CMD. And it will start a command prompt for me. And uh, if I type Python here, so it should start a Python interpreter for us. So as you guys can see, it has uh, installed the Python onto our system successfully. As you can see here is uh, Python 3.8.3 and if you want to check whether it has successfully installed onto your system so you can just uh, type uh, cmd or open your command prompt and type python over it so it should open the command or the python interpreter for us so what we will do next is we will just close this window and we will install the vs code ide onto our system so it is very simple like any other program like we install so with the accept the agreement we will click next get the desktop icon we will click next and if you hit on install so it will install it onto our system so i have already installed it onto my system so i will not uh, do it again so i will just click on cancel and the next piece of software was the kite setup so if you click on this kite setup so it will start onto your system and it is also similar like to next 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 and it will install it onto our system so it is taking some time i think and if i click on next so it says i have already installed it onto my system so you can uh, directly install it by clicking next 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 and it will install it onto your system so uh, it is already installed on my system so i will just click on ok and it will just close it, close it and so if i right click onto my folder so as you can see that there is an option of open with code so if i click on it so it will open the vs code id in this folder for me so it is just opening it and it might take a few seconds to load and as you can see it has opened the vs code id onto this uh, folder which we are currently in so I will just close this welcome page and you can see that these set of files are here so it has opened it in the python setup folder so to install some extension onto this vs code id so the first one will be we will click here and we will type python and we will install the first one that we will get after searching it so you can see that uh, this is the version which we need to install so there will be an option of uh, install here so you can just click over it and it will install it onto your system it might take some time to install it onto your system because it is a uh, like a large extension so it might take a few minutes to install it on your system as well as we need another piece of uh, extension that is kite autocomplete for python so we also need to uh, install it onto your system so uh, it will be also the similar to this python extension we just need to click on install and it will start the installing it onto your system and once it get installed you need to just restart your ide and it will be uh, installed onto your system so so that was it for this video let's move to the next session of this course